All right, now in this video, I want to walk you through the steps of integrating your storybook project within your existing stencil project. So if you're developing web components, then you might want to have a framework which is able to show you and display you those web components that you developed in a more structured way. And that's what storybook JS is very, very good for. Now, Natively, Storybook doesn't support Stencil.js, and that's a framework that we're going to work with today in order to develop our web components. And there has to be some configuration done in order to get this done correctly. And that's the purpose of this video, right? So let's jump right into it. All right, now I'm already here within my projects directory. I already created a stencil storybook tutorial folder. And in here, I'm just going to say npm init stencil. So let's just initiate a new stencil project. We're going to say uh, we're going to create some components. The project name is going to be stencil storybook. And I want to confirm this. Now I'm going to CD into this project right here and I'm going to open it up in VS Code by typing in code period. Now VS Code is going to open up for me. And in here I'm going to open up the terminal. I'm going to say, first of all, I'm going to install all of my npm packages and say npm i so now i got this node modules folder here and so i got stencil initiated i got the source i got my component this is my test component in here which is just going to say hello world i'm blah 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 and we can actually test this by say npm run start it's going to build up my dev server, open up my browser. And here we can see that stencil is running. Okay. Let me close that again. Let me stop the server. Now, the next thing that we want to do, we want to integrate storybook into our existing stencil project. And we're going to do that by staying within that directory and just typing in npx sb in it and going to say we need the latest version. Going to do that by typing in at latest and say enter. And by default, N, so no, is selected, but we want to manually uh, choose the storybook project. So we're going to type in Y. Now, this is going to give us a selection of types of uh, projects, and we want to build web components. So that's what we're going to choose. We're going to choose web components from this list. And um, we want to choose Vit over Webpack. In my um, experience, Vit works a little bit better, especially with the hot module reload. So we're going to choose that. And as you can see, as we initialize Storybook, it will automatically start Storybook on a localhost uh, port 6006. And this is our Storybook base project. So we got these example buttons, we got an example header, and we got an example page. Now what we see is that we cannot see our stencil component yet. This is our component and we cannot see it within a storybook so we want to integrate that so we can see it in here and that's what we're going to do next so let me just stop the server for now and as you can see uh, after i have installed storybook 
you can see this directory that he, uh, over here it says dot storybook we're going to open it and we're going to have a main js and a preview js now let me open up this preview js and let me make all of this a little bit bigger i hope you can see it anyways we got we have to add something to line one and two so within line one i'm gonna say import curly braces say define custom elements from dot dot slash loader and this is gonna make sense in a second and then we're just gonna call this function up here so let me save that within its js now you might wonder where we're importing this from because we cannot see a loader uh, directory here that's because we have to build our stencil project so when building the stencil project a loader directory will be created so let's say npm run build by the way you can also take a look at all of those scripts within your package.json so if you go to package.json and you take a look at scripts it will say build and that's what we're gonna run right now and as you can see we now have this loader directory here so that's where we're importing this define custom elements from So the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a story and creating a story means creating another kind of chapter in here. If this is a storybook, then I would just refer to these as chapters and um, a storybook will actually look through the whole project and look for files that end with stories.js or stories.ts and every file that it has it will add to this storybook now we have this components directory right here and as you can see we do not have a stories file yet so that's what we're going to create we're going to say my component dot stories i'm going to make this a ts file and I'm just gonna copy and paste some code in here. I will link, I will link it in the description so you can just copy and paste it as well. Um, it's just very, very basic, some very, very, very basic JavaScript code. As you can see here, uh, this will export uh, some JSON with the title. I'm gonna call this chapter of my storybook my components. These are just some parameters. I guess they're optional. And um, in here, I will create my template. And I'm going to return this, uh, this custom element right here. All right. So let me save this one. And now I'm going to npm run storybook again. I'm just going to say npm run storybook as you can see here this is the script and as you can see it has added this chapter right here and it says hello world i'm winnie pooh winnie the pooh which is uh, the text from my component now if i went ahead and changed my some made some changes to my component let's say i want to get rid of this whole text and just say hi mom and go back to storybook would have to reload it and nothing would happen that's because i have not built storybook again now let me open up a new terminal here that's uh, you can open up a new terminal by clicking on this plus sign if i said npm run build oh no the build didn't work because i have to delete this also gotta delete that now I can build it again okay now the build is finished and if I go back to storybook now you can see here that storybook has recognized this build uh, and automatically updated this component now I don't want to build anything 
every time I change this right here. So that's why I'm going to add a build watch. Now, if I go over here to package.json, I can see here uh, this build script and I can just add dash dash watch. I can just add this flag right here. Or as you can see down here, uh, you also got this start script, but this has dash dash dev included. And if you use this, it's not going to work properly. So I would suggest you just add this flag to your build script and you should be good to go. Now, let me save this. And let me say npm run build. Let me just test this. Hi, let's say this is a new component. Now you can see it has automatically rebuilt. And if I go back to storybook, it has automatically updated it. Now let me also test if CSS is still working. Let me just add a background red just to showcase everything. It's not going to look good, <laughs> but it's working. So I can just update my CSS, I can uh, update my component and I can develop my component in here uh, auto with automatic uh, update. So this is pretty neat. Now let me just quickly show you how you could add another component. And let me just stop stencil right here. Now I have another script that's gonna that's gonna be called npm run generate. And with that, I'm able to generate a new web component. Let's run this. It's gonna ask me for a new tag name. I'm just gonna say my new component. I want everything included. Now within here, within the components directory, I got this my new component in here. And I'm just gonna say hi from my new component. I'm gonna say save. And I will have to add another stories file to this. Now, let me just copy and paste my existing one in here. Let's rename it my new component dot stories. Um, let's rename this chapter right here. And I also want this. I want to call it my new component. And if I save this, start npm run build again. And if I went back to storybook, I can see here that it has already added this chapter right here. So this is my new component. And you can see this chapter here in storybook. Now this is such a neat way to organize all of your web components within storybook. Um, as you can see, you have them organized, you can uh, organize them the way you want. Them. And um, I think this is very, very nice. If you have learned something today, then please click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos and more content and see you in the next one. Bye bye.